locks are not for you. I'm telling you now. <laughs> So I have my list over here. So if you see me looking off to the side, I want to make sure I hit all the topics, make sure I don't miss anything, and just give you guys the tea on social locks. Social locks have been an up and coming trend in the African American community, which I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm all for it. I love to see my lock sisters. I love to see my sister lock sisters, traditional locks. If you guys don't know, I did have traditional locks for three years and I cut those off, let them go back for a year, and then I got my sister locks. So there are some pros and cons to having sister locks that I'll go over with you guys today. So um, number one, I'm gonna be giving you guys five reasons as to why you should not get sister locks. And I'm also gonna be providing you with five tips on if you do decide to start your sister lock journey, what are some things you should do along your journey? Being that I'm about a year and a half in, I kind of got a handle on it, sort of, kind of, still do some work, but we're getting there. So um, let's jump right into the reasons why you should not get sister locks. So reason number one. Reason number one you should not get sister locks is because they are expensive. They are super duper duper expensive. And it's because it's super time consuming, which is, we'll get into that a little bit later, but they're expensive. You have, I have over 500, no, I have a, yeah, I have a little less than 500 locks in my head. So that's a lot of, that's a lot, that's a lot of locks and that's a lot of time. So they're super expensive and um, I'll get into a tip later on, on how to cut costs or how to be able to save when you're interested or looking into getting sister locks. So I'll get you guys a tip for that, but they're super expensive. So I would definitely say if you are interested in getting locks, um, sister locks in particular, make sure that you do your research, make sure that um, you know you find how much the lactation that you would like to go to charges. So you know how much you need, you know, okay, what it is I need to save, what it is I need to put away in order to get my installation done. So they're expensive. The installation is expensive as well as the maintenance. So the maintenance, typically you should get your hair retied or what we call it is retight, retightened every six weeks. And if you don't keep up with that every six, every six weeks process, it can cause, especially when you're new, it can cause some, some struggles <laughs> with your sister locks. So it's about roughly depends on your, on your lactation, my retie is about $125 every six weeks. So they're super expensive. <laughs> so that is reason number one why you should not get sister locks. Reason number two is because they are time consuming. Again, like I said, I have a little over or a little less than 500 locks in my hair. They're super tiny, as you can see. And um, if you have curly hair like myself, they're gonna be even more of more maintenance, I should say. So they're super time consuming. I wanna say when I first got my hair installed, it took 35 and a half hours. 35 and a half hours to install my hair and we did it over the course of four days. So definitely if your lactation isn't as quick and you guys are going to be doing it over a specific amount of time, maybe over the course of a week, make sure that you plan ahead, set aside your schedule, plan out your schedule so that way you can make sure you have all the allotted time that you need in order to get your install done. So um, it's very time consuming. Reason number three why you should not get sister locks is because trying to find a consultant can be hard. There are more consultants popping up nowadays, but initially when I went to get my hair done, I don't even remember how I found 
I actually do. So it's crazy how I found my sister like consultant. I found her months and months and months before I even wanted to get sister locks. And I had always considered sister locks. After I got traditional locks, sister locks became like a trend. People were getting popping up with sister locks, popping up with this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, these are so freaking beautiful. Like I wish I would have known about these before I got my traditional locks. And I went to an event. So I'm not fine, you know, connected with my lactician. She has sister locks and I was complimenting her on her hair. I'm like, oh my goodness, your hair is so beautiful. I was like, I always love sister locks. After I found out about them, like they're just absolutely gorgeous. And um, we just connected and I took down her information. I told her when I am ready and when I'm serious to pay that money to get my sister locks done, I'm definitely going to be reaching out to you. So it just so happened like a couple of months or I want to say like a year later, she accidentally called me and the crazy thing is when she called me I was contemplating okay do I want to get sister locks do I not want to get sister locks and when she called me I was like you know what it's a sign let's let's do it let's get it done let's do it so um we ended up getting it done doing the process and she was very new in her career which I was not complaining about because she still had great work like she had done such great work that I that I saw so I got my hair done and it took 34 or 35 and a half hours and I was just like, so reason number four why you should not get sister locks is if you are impatient, sister locks are not for you. I'm telling you now, it requires a lot of patience, not only to allow your hair to develop and allow your hair to flourish and, you know, get voluminous and, and look beautiful because I'm going to tell you now when you first get them you're probably not gonna like them. You're gonna be, it's gonna be scalpy. You're gonna see so much scalp and you're gonna be like, all right, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I got this. I don't know why I started this journey, but I, I, I'm i not doing this. So um, you definitely have to have patience because if you're an impatient per person, you're not gonna be able to sit through your installation. And then with reties, reties take all about four hours, depending on how fast your lactation is with doing her retightening process. So, you could be looking anywhere between four to six hours and getting your retighting. And that's basically, if you've gotten micros before, that's basically the amount of time it takes to get micros. So it's four to six hours every six weeks that you have to get your hair done. So again, if you're not, if you're not patient, if you're super impatient, you can't sit still long enough to get your hair done, sister locks may not be for you. If you do want to do the lock route, you may want to go more of the traditional lock route because you can either do do it your own self or, you know, get somebody to do it. They can do it in like an hour, hour and a half, and you're out the chair. You're good to go. So that may be another consideration for you if you are not the most patient person in the world. So reason number five as to why you should not get sister locks. So when you first get your hair done, you're going to see a lot of scalp. And it's not gonna be too cute. So let's put it like this. If your hair is super thick to begin with, you you may your experience may be a little bit different with getting started. My hair on the other hand is a little bit on the finer side. So as you guys can see, my hair is curly. I do struggle with thin edges. So that is what I'm currently working on. So if you guys know any tips, any tricks on thickening up your edges, please comment them down below because your girl is struggling. I'm not trying to be out here bald headed, okay? <laughs> Help me out, okay? Help me out. So um, that's the one thing that I can say that I struggle with the most, which is why when I had my traditional locks, I did end up shaving my edges. So I ended up shaving here and then I'd shave the back to have like a semi undercut. So that's the one reason why I did. And I'm so tempted, so very tempted to do that again. But I know after a while, I kind of got bored with it because I get bored so fast. And I was like, all right, I want my hair back which is why I ended up cutting them all off in the, in, in the first place anyway. So I'm inclined not to for those specific reasons, but I'm also inclined to do so. But we're not gonna cut our hair. We're, we're gonna, you know, let it flourish. We're gonna, you know, take some time, let it do, do what it do, and then we will see what the verdict is. But for now, we're keeping the edges. So if you guys have any remedies, anything like that on, you know, how to thicken up your edges, please, please let me know. Please, please. I will, I will very highly appreciate it. So, um, yeah, it can, it, it can look very thin. I'm not going to lie. Like you can see a lot of scalp and it may not look appealing. It may not look 
like the girls that you see on Instagram, the lock babes who already have had their locks for years and their hair is thick and flourishing and all that stuff because it takes time. And again, this comes back to the patience. It takes time for your hair to thicken. It takes time for your hair to fluff. It takes time for your hair to lock. And if you are one of my ladies who has finer hair, your hair is more curly and not as coarse, your hair is going to take a long time to lock. The ones in the back, they may lock a little, you know, faster. So like if you can see these in the back, they are kind of locked for the most part. Um, they're a little more firm than these. As you can see, I have like a lot of ends out and you can do that upon request. So if you want more of your ends out, um, you know, let your dietitian know, hey, I, I love my curlies, I want my curly ends, so I would love to keep those if possible, and that is always an option. Always, you know, talk to your consultant, let them know what you want, let them know your ideas, let them know your inspiration, so that way when they're doing your installation, they know exactly what it is that you want, and you're satisfied and you're happy with how your hair turns out. So... When I did my when I went to my lactician, um, she was like, I don't want to do your hair all the way down to the ends because I just love your curly hair. And I was like, mm, yeah, I agree. I want to leave some of the ends out. I would say hindsight 2020, I would done have done it a little bit, you know, towards the ends a little bit more because I do have a lot of hair out. And being in the Florida weather with the humidity, my hair tends to poof and my hair tends to intertwine with each other so it causes a lot of tangling sometimes and that's the one thing that I do not like the most so um getting into the tips listen to your lactation if your lactation says don't do this don't do that listen to your lactation they know what they're talking about my lactation told me because of my hair texture not to put anything in my hair no oil no nothing so i did not put any oil no nothing in my hair i only sprayed some water to rejuvenate the curls to you know moisturize my scalp but that was it i put no oil no nothing on my hair um sister lock actually does have a shampoo that you can use to help with um your hair locking and the process happening a lot faster so you know talk to your lactician see what it is that they recommend for you and just listen because they're there for the health of your hair and to make sure that everything goes as smoothly as possible so if your lactician is telling you not to do something or to do something please listen because you don't want your hair coming out because <laughs> baby they will come out if you don't, if you do not braid and band your hair like they tell you to, your locks may slip. Your locks may slip out. Like I've had some around the edges, even a year and a half in, they still come out because around my edges, it's they they don't lock as quickly, so they they still slip out. And that's just you know, that's just the nature. That's just the name of the game. So. Again, listen to your lactician. Whatever your lactician tells you to do, please do it. Don't be like, okay, my hair is done. I can do what I want to do. I can go out in the swimming pool with no with my hair out. No. Listen to your lactician. <laughs> so um, that is tip number one. Tip number two is to find someone who is either certified or someone who is in training. Now, I'm going to give you a super tip. So... What I did was I did not necessarily go with someone who was certified because their prices are going to be a little bit more steep than someone who is in the process of being certified. So super tip, make sure if you find a consultant and they don't yet have their certification, their prices are going to be a lot cheaper because they need those individuals to to present to sister locks in order to get their certification so they're not going to charge you a thousand dollars twelve hundred dollars thirteen hundred dollars because sister locks can get super expensive like i've seen upwards of fifteen hundred dollars for an install and if you want to save on costs find someone who's not certified still good because they've gone through the training but just not certified yet so that is tip number two Tip number three is to be patient with your hair. Like I said before, 
everyone's hair is different. Everyone's hair grows different. Everyone's hair fluffs different. Everyone's hair is a different texture. You may have three different textures in your hair. So you have to be patient with your hair. And I know it can be so frustrating because I always look on Instagram, I'm like, oh my goodness, her hair is so beautiful. Oh my goodness, like her hair is so long. Oh my God, her hair is so full. And I have to remember, my hair journey is my hair journey. Their hair journey is their hair journey. And we have two different types of hair. And our hair grows different. Our hair looks different. Our hair fluffs different. So going into tip number four, don't compare your journey to someone else's. Their journey is theirs, your journey is yours. And you have to fall in love with the process and you have to fall in love with your journey. Everyone has a different a different experience with their hair. Everyone goes through different phases and you have to take that phase and you know learn how to deal with that phase and then keep it moving until the next phase comes along. So like I'm in the phase of, you know, I'm finding knots in my hair, I'm finding, and that's just the process that my hair is going through in order to lock. And I have to remember that because I can get in the habit of pulling at my hair. So like if I find a knot, I'll like try to pull it out and then I end up pulling the whole chunk of my hair out and I'm like, all right, let's not do that. So I have to remind myself to be patient be loving and be kind to my hair and my hair will you know give that back to me if that makes sense so that is tip number four and the last tip that i want to share with you guys in your sister life journey if you guys do decide to do this journey if you guys do decide to embark on a journey and this is not a, a video to bash sister lives when i tell you i am in love with my sister life journey like i am in love like I was not this in love with my traditional locks because I wasn't able to experience my natural hair in my curly state. Once your hair is in traditional locks, baby, them those locks, they're thick, they're they're hard, they're it's like it's there's no movement, there's no like playfulness, there's no like flowiness. It's like you get what you get. So I am so very much in love with my sister life journey. I love my curls. I love how my hair is flourishing. And I just want to, you know, remind you guys, if you guys do decide to embark on your sister life journey, which I highly recommend, may I add, because this has been, I've talked to so many ladies on Instagram and it's like, we always say this has literally been the best thing that we've done and the best decision that we've ever made to our hair is to get sister locks. Because if you are looking for versatility, if you are looking for um, to have your natural hair almost in its natural state, but just, you know, a little bit confined, but still in its most natural state, Sister logs are literally for you, baby. Like, they're for you. And I always, like, I'm, I'm trying to convince my sister to get them. She's not going for it. I'm trying to convince my best friend to get them. She's on the fence, but she hasn't tipped over yet. So we'll see how that goes. My mom, she wants them. So I'm like, hey, and if you want them, I could do them. So um, yeah, like I highly recommend the journey. It's absolutely amazing. It's been one of the best journeys thus far. I've decided to embark on with my hair and I'm absolutely in love. I can't wait until they start to grow even longer and longer and longer. And just enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey because again, your journey is your own and don't compare yourself to other people that you see because you never know what they went through in order to get to where they are with their hair. You never know what struggles they may have gone through. You never know, you know, what they had to do in order to get to that point where their hair is just like flourishing. So enjoy your process, enjoy your journey, take your journey one day at a time and just fall in love with the process because it is such an amazing process. And when you look at pictures from months ago, weeks ago, and you see the transformation your hair has made, you're like, dang, like my hair really is growing. <laughs> like we're really getting some lift, we're really getting some body. And I encourage you also to take pictures, take videos, take pictures, document your journey, track your journey, because even when you think your hair is not growing, Baby, I promise you, your hair is growing. Your hair is always growing. So those are my five tips. Those are my 
five reasons why you should not get sister locks and after watching this video if this has helped you make a better a more informed decision on whether or not you want to move forward with this journey move forward with this lifestyle i hope that this video has helped and um yeah i just encourage you guys to fall in love with the process fall in love with your process and not anyone else's so Thank you guys for tuning in to my first ever, well actually second, Sister Lock video. There are gonna be more to come, so if there's anything that you guys wanna see in reference to my Sister Locks, definitely comment those down below. I'm thinking of doing um, a hairstyle because I have been doing different hairstyles and playing with different hairstyles. So I'm thinking of doing a hairstyle video of some different hairstyles that I've tried, I've loved along my journey, but yeah. That is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I definitely appreciate it. Make sure that you stay tuned. Hit the notification bell. Also, please subscribe to my channel. My goal is to get 500 subscribers. We are at 131. So um, yeah, I thank you for all the support that I've gotten up until now, all the support that I'm gonna get in the future. I definitely appreciate it. And make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Rage on that beat, gon' crave.